Imagine being pregnant, and then getting pregnant again. Sounds impossible, right? But there's a real medical phenomenon where women conceive while already expecting. It's called superfetation, and it's one of the rarest reproductive mysteries in the world. Definition Superfetation is when a second new pregnancy occurs during an existing pregnancy. It means a woman releases another egg, ovulates, after she's already pregnant, and that egg gets fertilized and implants in the womb. This leads to two fetuses of different gestational ages developing at the same time. Normally once pregnant, ovulation stops. Hormonal changes suppress further ovulation, cervical and uterine changes, cervical mucus plug forms, making it harder for sperm to reach uterus. The lining of the uterus becomes less receptive to further implantation. Implantation and hormonal feedback from the existing embryo fetus usually prevent new embryo from establishing itself. Because all three would need to be bypassed or fail, hormonal suppression, implantation barrier, etc. Superfetation is extraordinarily rare. Only about 10 to 14 cases documented worldwide in modern medical literature. Most reports come from women undergoing fertility treatments, where hormonal shifts might make it more likely. Will the babies be born at the same time? Often yes, but with complications. In many confirmed superfetation cases, both babies are delivered together, even though they were conceived at different times. The difference is, the more recent embryo is younger, less developed, often smaller. The younger baby is more at risk, premature birth, lower birth weight, needing more neonatal care. Doctors must balance when to deliver, waiting for the more mature baby versus protecting the younger one. Often a C-section is used. In Italy in 1999, a woman gave birth to twins conceived three weeks apart. In 2009 in the USA, a woman undergoing IVF conceived naturally afterward, resulting in twins with different ages. A case of triplets also in the US was conceived this way, two conceived a week after the first. So the first was older, then came twins later, delivered via C-section. All three healthy though required NICU, the younger ones slightly behind but catching up. In 2021 in Texas, a 30-year-old woman was pregnant with her second baby one week apart. The second embryo was discovered after another scan. No known fertility treatments. Twins born together. The first conceived twin was larger and remained heavier at six months. In 2016 in Australia, a woman conceived two babies 10 days apart naturally, an extremely rare case. Also in 2023 in Australia, Poppy and Michael was conceived 18 days apart. Poppy via IVF and Michael naturally. Both born on the same day and were healthy, though Michael was premature and smaller. An ultrasound showing two embryos fetuses at different developmental ages or with different sizes when that difference can't be fully explained by other causes. High resolution scans, repeat scans over time, blood tests, for example hormone levels, help establish gestational age differences. Must rule out twin-twin growth discordance, which is where twins conceived at the same time grow at different rates. Also must rule out misdating, errors in calculating conception date, or missing a sac on earlier scan. Prematurity risk for the younger embryo or fetus. Difference in size can lead to complications in utero. For example, one baby not getting enough nutrients, problems with the placenta, Difficulty in timing delivery so both babies have best possible outcomes. If delivered too early, risks to younger. If too late, risks to older. More medical monitoring required. Frequent ultrasounds. Possible NICU stay for the younger baby. Superfetation proves pregnancy isn't always as straightforward as we think. Two babies, conceived at different times, growing together in the same womb. Incredible, right? Hit that subscribe button for more medical mysteries that will blow your mind. Also click the video on the screen to learn about chimerism, a rare genetic condition.